Okay, so let me ask you this, bro. Because I think I asked you this before, but I'm not sure. If you had to sign one artist from the scene, who would you sign, bro, and why? If I could sign one artist from, like, the area? Yes. Can't sign yourself. Of course. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Damn. That's a rough one. Yes. Damn. Fuck, man. You want me to make it easier for you? <sighs> yeah, go ahead. Three. You got a top three. Top th- okay, top three artists that I would sign. Yes. If I was, like, a label head or something. Yes. Okay, yeah. I would definitely probably... Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Uh... Not to, like, toot the complex horn. I mean, of course, like, I'm going to fucking wave the flag or whatever, but, like, I would I would definitely sign Bree. I would absolutely 100% yeah. sign Bree all day. Like That's the first female I would sign. I would 100% sign her. Then I would probably go with... Uh, damn. Uh, it's a hard one. It is, bro. It's a hard question because it's like everybody's so different and so unique, and like so many of them are so talented and so, so good. They'll like bring different audiences from everywhere. Though. Everybody has something to offer, so it's like yeah, like ev- really everybody's hard. everybody's got their own thing. So it's it's super difficult to choose, but it's like I don't know, man. I would probably okay. Yeah, I, I know my list. I know my list. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I know my list. Uh, all right. Before I say anything, what's the radius on, like, that you consider the scene? Kentucky or, like, Glasgow, Bowling Green, Horse Cave area? Or just Kentucky as a whole? Good question. Uh, definitely the areas, bro. Because people are going to pr- try to use Louisville. Okay. Hey, actually, you know what? That's a, ooh, that's a good question, dog. Let's do the areas, bro. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Bet, bet. All right. All right. All right. So, Bree, Trap Steve. And uh, trap seems a good one too. Yeah, for sure. He he does like his trap shit and like he's on his pop shit too. So it's he's got that like crossover appeal. Yeah. Uh. Fuck, man. Probably uh. Probably the dudes from Two's Doom. From where? Who's Doom? The fucking four two one zero one guys. Bro, Ashton you, Park and Little Blue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashton Park's hard. I didn't know there was a whole group though. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, it's um. Uh, so th- they do their uh independent things. Ashton's got his so got some solo stuff. I think he's working on, and uh, Little Blue has got some solo stuff he's working on. But they also have like a little uh collective that's just the two of them, and it's uh Two's Doom. It's a uh, two U. E S D O O M. Okay, okay, that's all right. So I'm gonna have to look in. I'm gonna have to look more into that, dog. Have you seen the four two one zero one video? Four two one zero one. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, Enough of me. I love that shit. <laughs> I love that shit. It's that's hard. I was there for the video shoot. It was crazy, bro. Like all sorts of fucking insane cars pulled up. Like there was a Lambo there. There was a fucking car that was like had a rap on it that was entirely like Reese's and shit and bro was like throwing Reese's out and shit fucking it was like there was great food there uh everybody just came out showed love and we made some crazy shit that day it was awesome it was great to be like I wasn't like heavily involved and I won't take any sort of credit for that video at all but I did come out and I was kind of like trying to help out like what little I could or just offer help here, there, here and there. That's love though. But, uh, it was a great experience. I got to meet a lot of cool people that day. I got to network some and, uh, yeah, I got to see some dope ass cars in person for the first time. I got to see a Lambo in person for the first time that day. That was, that was insane. Yeah. But that's, see, that's a, those are the kind of moments, bro, that I love, bro. Like, like when everybody comes together on a project like that, it's, yes man like that that's what i feel like a lot of artists don't realize is like yes at the end of the day it's about you and getting yourself paid and all that shit but in order to do that you need to connect with people you need to build a community you need to fucking bring people together and work on stuff with other people and collaborate and 
like, like, don't ever be that dude's like, nah, I'm doing my own thing. I don't fuck with nobody else. I ain't never doing features. I ain't taking features. You're bound to lose. Yeah, you're bound to lose if you're not willing to work with other people. Like, if, like, of course, like, at the end of the, at the end of the day, don't compromise your artistic integrity. Like, if you yeah. are, like, dead set on something be a, being a certain way, like, don't compromise on that. But at the same time, don't be afraid to take input from outside sources and collaborate with outside sources because that's a lot of the time how crazy things happen and how people fucking blow because they fucking work with other people you know like at the end of the day yes you can fucking work with the same people all the time but and that's another thing like don't be afraid to go outside your circle once you have a circle built you need to keep expanding that professionally don't let your friend circle get too big because that's how you fucking end up like getting yourself fucked over yeah don't fuck yeah it's cool to have associates but don't have too many friends um yeah dude speaking of ashton park and all of them bro i definitely need to get them on a cypher <laughs> i definitely do i would definitely get in touch with uh black market about that yeah. for sure because uh I feel like they would be down for something like that, maybe. I hope so. For sure. I hope so, bro, because... I don't know. I won't, I won't speak for them because I, I I really don't know them. But, like, you know, they seem like they would be down for some shit like that. Well, Ashton Park and, and what they call Dunes? Dunes? Tools, Dunes. Tools, Dunes. Look, bro, I need you guys. I need you guys to come through, please. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> and any other artists, if you guys are willing. But... Yeah, dude. I also like low class lingos, bro. Yeah. Oh my God. I completely forgot about them. Whenever you asked me the who would I sign question, goddamn. Yeah, bro. I, I love. I love low class lingos, bro. They are uh, low key. I would probably sign all of them as a collective. Yeah. You had to. Everybody. You have to, bro. They're, they're, I think that's what's. It's a package deal. <laughs> like, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I feel like everybody has their certain favorites because they can relate to their flow or their whatever it is but i will say this all of them together they like it's like you get a sound that works so well dog it's it's one of those things that you you don't need it but you will rather have it work it's, as it's, a, it's like it's something you didn't know you needed <laughs> i think yeah that, that's a, yeah bro like it's because they all, it's like earth fire air earth you know, like it, like Earth, fire, air, earth. yeah, you mix them together, dog. You get a whole other thing, dog. It's like I don't know, man. They it, it, they work so well together, bro. It's like a balance, bro, with their music, and I like that. Um, I'm thinking like I definitely okay. Who would I sign? Who which three would I sign? Yeah, that's a good question. Who would you sign? <laughs> that's a good question, bro. I, I did say I will always say this I think Esco I would definitely sign Esco Cause he has the drive He has the sound He has the swag And I, I like funk I'm a huge funk fan So when I first heard Esco bro Believe it or not I became a fan And I didn't know that He was a fan of mine as well So That's actually crazy Yeah bro Like he actually hit me up To be a VYB And I was like Absolutely You know In my head I'm like freaking out But I'm trying to keep my composure Cause I'm like Yeah you know I'm, 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 yeah, you know, it's so all <laughs> yeah, it work, but uh, yeah, bro. So yeah, it was cool, man. So I think I think I would definitely sign Esco. I'll also sign my boy. I was signed K and S, and the reason why I was signed K and S is because he has a different sound. Uh that being said, he would bring a different crowd that i feel like will definitely branch out to other people because when you look at his look when you look at his style bro he's a gangster who's country bro you know what i mean like yeah. and then everything he spits is real bro so it's 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 i i respect that about him i he don't sugarcoat nothing this and that i w and he and he has that ability to push bro he always pushing he always shows love so when you when you have something like that bro you can't you can't ignore that dog and I will, yeah, so definitely K&S. And then the third person. 
That's a c- bro. It's so hard, dog, because I low key will sign so many people, bro. Like everybody. Yeah, no, bro. That, that's why I was like, fuck, man. I really don't know who I would sign. Yeah. Like I really don't. Like there's so many fucking artists, and everyone sounds so fucking different. There's no way I can just pick three. Like it was, it was hard just to pick those three people, and I only picked those three people just because they're the three people that I really like. Like those artists are like people I want to work with. Yeah. Like. I mean, coming up type shit, you know. I want to work with whoever wants to work with me, but it's like, you know, I want to work with people who are serious and, like, invested. Like, I know I only have two fucking songs out right now, but, you know, you'll see. <laughs> the, honestly, bro, this, this was a really hard one for for real because uh, my homie LC Jr., I would love to sign him. I think I would really love to sign him, bro, because... He every time I hear him spit, bro, he he has a different sound, or he has a different flow every time. Like everything, he I've never seen him write, bro. That's what scares me about him. I've never seen him write. He has a journal, so I know he writes, but I've never seen him write. Even when he says he writes like a song, he never ends up using that writing that he used for that song. It's always a freestyle. So it's like, like bro, it scares me, dog. For real, I've never really seen someone like that before when it comes to music. So. I wish I could freestyle like that. LC is hard. But there's a lot of honorable mentions out there, bro. Like, yeah, like if we're being if I'm being honest, that list is interchangeable. That list yeah. could go on for days. Yeah. Like it would honestly be easier for me to tell you the artists that I wouldn't sign. <laughs> Facts, but I don't want to do that to them, bro. I don't want to do that to them. Not yeah, that- I'm not I'm not trying to be out here like that. <laughs> what time did you say you had to be at work oh snap uh okay well we got three minutes to like wrap it up bro so uh, yeah. yeah i appreciate you coming through man for real for real this was a good time it really was man i appreciate you having me on the show it was it was it was a good time man for real, for real. well uh hopefully i can have you again another time and um thank you for listening to sewer talk um, I think it's gonna be sewer talk, bro. I really don't know. I really, I like sewer talk. I really do, bro. I really do. It's it's unique as fuck, and you can do a lot of shit with that branding wise. All right, bet. Well, we'll definitely go with some sewer talk then. I like that. So, uh, yeah, this is sewer talk on channel five one seven. Y'all have a good time, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Yeah.